To our first point of discussion now, taxation no doubt plays a crucial role in promoting economic activity and growth. Through taxation, government ensures that resources are channeled towards important projects in the society while giving succor to the weak. In the face of daunting challenges facing the Nigerian economy, and the economy has failed to experience the desired growth that will lead to its targeted economic development despite various efforts being made by fiscal and monetary authorities to salvage the situation and get the economy on the path of recovery. The quest for economic prosperity and recovery through improved revenue generation has become more urgent today than ever before. And this has necessitated the theme for the 23rd Annual Tax Conference put together by the Chartered Institute of Taxation of Nigeria. The theme of this year's conference is Taxation for Economic Recovery, a Necessity for Social Engagement and Economic Sustainability. Definitely will focus on the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on the Nigerian economy with a view of charting a new course to sustaining the economy in the post-COVID-19 era. To discuss this and more, I have joining me two very important guests. They are live in the studio. Uh, the first is the Chairman Publicity, uh, Publication and Branding Committee of the Chartered Institute of Taxation of this conference, uh, Mr. Simon uh, Nwamachi Kato. I pray I got that name. And also the second guest is the Chairman <laughs> of the CITN 2021 <laughs> Annual Tax Conference, Dr. Titi Eniton for Wokong. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank and you. thank you very much uh, thank for you your time, you. madam. <laughs> well, they said ladies first, so I think I should start. <laughs> first, what, uh, tell us, I know a lot of work has been on the ground. Take us through all of this work before we now move to the theme, all roads leads to Kaduna, right? <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. All right. um, we will We'll be wondering why we're coming up with this team. Um, you know, just a few months ago, we did the 22nd Anatas Conference, which was held in Lagos. And then we were looking at um, what the pandemic has done. Now we're moving forward. We're talking about economic recovery. So the preparation has gone on. Uh, we've had um, to do different visits to the governor who opted to host uh, the conference. And we're still moving on on that. And well, new normal, virtual has come to stay. So we have virtual and we have very few that will be coming on board just to be sure that at least we can add face to face on the few that are there. So we prepared, the conference is going uh, to have like about um, two papers, two major papers and about three panel sessions. Okay. Now what are we trying to look at? We are looking at the 21st century, uh, we are looking at digital uh, taxation, we are looking at entrepreneurship. How does that flow? Into, into tax. So these are various of things that, that we're actually putting together. We have seasoned resource persons that are ready to share their knowledge across different countries within Nigeria, outside Nigeria, as far as um, Belgium. Hmm. You know, so we, we have that. So it's, it's really something that we're looking up to. Uh, let me be safe. Mr. Kato, uh, <laughs> now taxation for economic recovery. Uh, I'm thinking, uh, is that what we need to revive our economy? Certainly. Taxation is key. It's not even, even when an economy is doing very well, you would find out that taxation must still be there to sustain any economy today in the world. We can't do without taxation. And in our own case, we had to make sure that it is very, very, I mean, it is emphasized on the fact that we need it for economic recovery because of our peculiar situation. Our economy is not as strong as others, even though the potentials are there. Yes. And so we needed to, again, encourage and speak to ourselves, the professionals, as well as government, to see the importance of getting this thing done. Because at the end of the day, it's a social contract where government plays its own role, and the taxpayer equally plays his own role. So taxation for economic recovery certainly is a necessity for social engagement and economic sustainability. It's so, key. so yeah. Dr. Fouko, this engagement, like you said, there will be papers, uh, uh, fiscally, and of course, virtually. Uh, I'm also looking at anything around tax policies and, uh, well, still for economic recovery. What kind of policies do we, should I touch? Let me ask you this way, that what kind of policies do we expect? Or what are the resolutions? What should we be thinking of that can make us activate this and let us get this kind of recovery from taxation. Okay, Th thank you for that question. Um, like I said, we had to look at what do we need now as a country. Um, starting from the issue of the 21st century, like I spoke about, we are talking, uh, the recent Finance Act has talked about mm. digital taxation. Mm. So those are some of the things we're going to be exploring. 
how is government going to make this work? It has to be an agreement between the taxpayer and the tax authorities, with the government being at the end of the day receiving the revenue. So we're looking at what are the prospects? What are the challenges? How can even this finance app become what we can apply and get results out of it? So we're looking at that. Then we look at things about um, social inclusiveness. We have different aspects of the economy that, we have, that are involved in taxation. Uh, we've just we recent um, quarter one result. We have the automobile. We have so we need to ensure that everybody, whether you're informal sector or you're in the formal sector, you're into automobile, you're into manufacturing, everybody must be included in this social work. You know, you you can't remove the populace mm -hmm. when you're talking about taxation. So we're looking at how do we use this to boost our economic growth. Now entrepreneurship. If we don't develop entrepreneurship, we may not be able to get what we are looking at for. Because the more entrepreneurs we have, the more employment is created, yes. and the more taxes we collected. Yes. So we have put all this together, and we said we need to have a conference that will speak to these different aspects. At the end of the day, we have a communique. The mm -hmm. communique goes to government to say, this is what the government can do. This is what taxpayers should do. This is what tax authorities should do. This is what every uh, international community should do. And that is what goes into some of this, our finance act, our policy statements by the government. That's our contribution to the economy. Now, we cannot but talk about our health. Having done all this well, our health must be good. So mental health alertness, mental health awareness is necessary. So we need to know what is the things we need to do to keep ourselves sane. We can imagine what is going on around us. So if we are not careful, as a professional, you wake up one day and you are behaving erratically. And the question is, what's wrong with you? So you need to know what are the things that could stir you up and then you start behaving erratically because of all these things around us. So we are going to mix up everything together and people are going to have their hands um, have, have fully loaded. For the you wanted to add something to that? Yes, please. Um, this is on the aspect of the technical sessions that will be going on, okay. the mind thinking kind of things. But in addition to that, there is also the side where there will be hospitality. She talked of mental awareness. People need to calm down. At the end of all the sessions, we'll have a moment where we'll have a hospitality night. We will also equally have a gala night where we should be able to relax, unwind, do more of networking, and at least play some music, which is part of the whole thing. And people like Tolu, I'm sure if you're there, you will appreciate what we're doing. So that you know that the tax man does not just go to yes, collector. He collect also will take time to kind of relax. And don't forget, in just like she said, uh, communique will be given. We even intend to have games. Kaduna is known for polo. And mm -hmm. there are these indications that there could be even some exhibition matches on polo, you know, and other games. So that we can relax and see things again much more. This is all captured within the conference. And even much more. I, I was looking at this. Let me follow up with that. 23rd. That yeah. means... Like 22 before now oh, sure. of all of this. Yeah. So how well, yes, uh, Dr. Fouko identified some of your inputs. How well would you say this is impacting on policies of government? I I'd like you to also talk on that. Thank because you so it's much. important that uh, we just come together and there's an impact. That impact is what I, I, I want you to so tell us. Let me just put it straight. <laughs> if you keep doing something and improving on it every day, mm -hmm. it shows there is an impact. True. Mm -hmm. Today, <laughs> she just mentioned the hybrid, where we are now going virtually and then physical at the same time. Before, we were not having virtual conversations, where people sit all over. People present uh, papers to us now from outside the country. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is an improvement. These things were not there before. Yes. Let me tell you that these conferences have so much impacted and contributed to government. Mm -hmm. The national tax policy that came up, a lot of contributions came and discussions, any policy that government puts on ground, there are discussions that tax professionals meet together to discuss and then they kind of contribute back to government generally. So in terms of impact all along, right from when we started, I can guarantee you that CITN and this particular conference has always done so great. And every tax, every tax professional, uh, professional in this country has always desired and waited for this moment. Wow. It's a moment where we get to, uh, to, to interact, see one another, 
both those that fight between the administrators and the tax professionals, you know, in case, I don't know where you pay your taxes. <laughs> <laughs> so we can stop there. But when we go there, we're all one. All right. Thank I, you. I, I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I also, something pricked me, he, and he talked uh, part, partly on that digitalization yes. and technology. Mm -hmm. So how are we also using that to further ease up our taxing pro taxation process? Okay. And of course, can that help us show up revenue? Um, I must say that the, the Finance Act 2020 has addressed some issues. And that is why we must, we must, but, uh, we must always talk about this digitalization. Now, a lot of companies now have ERPs, end-to-end. Hmm. -end. Uh, from business to business, com business to commerce, and it, it goes like that. So if you know what each of these process entails, and you can put in your controls, because there's a tax law that says you must do this, at the end of the day, you are sure of the accuracy of your taxes. Now, the tax administrator themselves are also even having public notice now that they're going to have to use IT to test your remittances especially when you talk about transaction taxes. So with that coming on board, then all those hidden revenues that maybe you disclose five, you do 10, you disclose five, <laughs> will, be, will be something that is difficult for you to, 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 to hide under. Hmm. So with the Finance Act Amendment, now the tax authorities have a tool to say, or, or, or a basis to say, we want to test the IT. But I believe that that's just the first step. There will still be some other things that need to be done, engagement, getting the right um, platform, and things like that still needs to happen. So I can see that some eating revenues will be, will, be, will be revealed. But by the time everybody gets to that level that you cannot hide again, then voluntary compliance. Because when you decide not to voluntarily comply, the law also says for willful default, there's penalty. So why would you want to pay penalty that at the end of the day is not allowed for tax purposes? So second punishment. So we're going to see a change in the way we do things. You can't just uh, stay in the UK, get all the revenue from Nigeria, zap away without paying your taxes. That is part of what is being, going to be addressed now. Significant economic presence for people that do offshore, get revenue here, and they, and, and they go away with the money. So government is going to be able to at least put some sanity in what is happening in the digital world. Hmm. Though I believe it's just starting, but there's a lot to be done. Mr. Gato has something to say know, about let, it. Let me just add, still we are talking on digitalization. Yes. Um, of recent, the organization I work with, I'm very much aware that there is a process on automation going on now with regard to VAT. These are all benefits of digitalization. It is expected that very soon you would go to a service center to buy something either in a supermarket or wherever or whichever organization you are it, once there is a transaction that goes on as payment is being made you find out that VAT is being deducted mm -hmm. and you don't have to wait for extra evidence as you're obtaining your receipts on the transaction table you're getting evidence that your VAT has been remitted and it goes straight to the covers where it's supposed to go. All these go to show off revenues and there will be outright. One good thing about digitalization is the fact that it makes even accountability much more clear. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because now there's no need, you do not manipulate documents any longer. It's either a transaction took place or it or did no. not. Mm -hmm. And once it has taken place, you see it Clearly. Not clearly. Mm -hmm. And I think it, this in itself, I think, should encourage voluntary compliance. Because when you now go, you're buying something, you're seeing what you're buying, you're seeing what you're paying there and then, and you know that it's been paid, you've done your bid. Mm -hmm. I know the other bid, which I would not want you to ask me, is on whether the money is collected have been used, used the right thing. I just warned you. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> you <very much. laughs> I was that. Thank you for what? But I was going to ask that question. Well, maybe I maybe Dr. Fawoka will talk about that. But sincerely, uh, that issue has been up, and many tax practitioners will tell me that uh, what I have to do is to gather the tax. Then government now has to uh, what to do with uh, yes. with the with the funds. But I don't know if you would like to really react to that because a lot of people expect a lot. I'm serious. I always say this. Aside from states like Lagos, that I see good roads, I see constructions everywhere, I see a little bit of good infrastructure, and I can you know. I can always find my way. I could be ready to pay my tax. So how does that come to you? Yes, um, let me say that um, one of the things we advocate is um, social contract theory. Mm. As we pay our taxes, well, there's an expectation yes. on the part of government. Yes. But the first thing is you do your parts, and then we wait for government to do their part. 
So I, I can say that practitioners will tell you this is the law, go by the law. Mm. At the same time, as an institute, we are also talking to government. We are trying to let government know that people will be willing to pay more taxes when they see their money working for them. True. And we always encourage that. We stand for the social inclusiveness. We stand for the social contract theory that, look, you don't find the uh, tax policy has said you don't need to ask for direct benefits. But we expect that under a social contract, there's that sense that if I do this, I have an expectation. Mm -hmm. And government also knows that I should have an expectation. expectation. Because people say, I fix my road, I fix that, I fix that, fine. But the same thing we're saying is, you do your part. Then let's have a means of getting government here. And that's what some of this our, our conference does. The communicate will be very clear. This is your part as taxpayer. This is government at the federal. This is legislators to do. This is tax authorities to do. And we state it like that. At the end of the conference, we send this to the government. Some of the things we have in finance are came from the conference yes, we've done in the past. Yes, true. And we are happy that government is listening. We are happy they're doing something. Now, Lagos is an example. Agree. Other states are following. Yes, yes. You've been seeing some yes. developments in some other states. Yes. When people start to say, please, I'm doing my part. What are you doing for me in return? What is the need for us? Hmm. Then I think government will see that we are getting wiser. So, Mr. Kato, we're talking about 18th to 21st uh, of this month. Yeah. Take us through uh, this as, as we almost wrap up this discussion and what your, your colleagues should expect <laughs> in Kaduna. I would still encourage that uh, colleagues, please plan to be in this conference. You're free to join this conference virtually. And um, if you also want to be there, we have a facility that is seating over 1,000 people. And we believe that knowing the government of Kaduna State that is hosting us, and knowing the governor who has experienced yeah. everything about COVID and COVID protocols, you can trust that Cardinal State is not going to take things lightly. So the COVID protocols are going to be fully enforced Good. and they will be well recognized. And I can assure you everything is going to go on fine. I can also guarantee that in terms of even accommodation, all hotels are just 1,000 meters within the vicinity wow. of the conference. They have been sorted out. We were in Cardinal recently. And we've also had discussion with the government. The government is on top of the situation with regards to every challenge whatsoever in whichever way, except any pronouncement comes out after I leave this place, I can guarantee that so far we are confident that this conference has come to stay and people will be there and um, they will have fun. And at the same time, they will learn. The airports are open and I think people will also come by rail. You know, we've been communicating with our members, but well, that's true. Abuja that. to exactly. uh, to Kaduna yes. is very smooth. Yeah. I, 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 I've, I've tried that. I've tried uh, that. Very interesting. You need to. You From need Kaduna, to. I went by rail to, to, uh, and it was really, it was really you good. You can do a lot of stuff. And, when you're and you yes, see, it was really good. And I must, I must add also that Kaduna <laughs> is um, a tax-friendly environment. Mm. The Internal Revenue Services, they are the tax. Yeah, they I are doing, something about they them. Are doing, doing very well. They are doing very well. Yes, I read doing very well. A young gentleman is on the throne. Let me use that word. It's not a kingship kind of thing. But, um, and he's doing very well. And that is why we can exchange. Not Recently, they hosted the Joint Tax Board. Wow. And now they are hosting the tax professionals. That tells you that, at least with regards to taxation, they are taking this conference very seriously. And I believe whoever is coming will get the attention that he or she deserves. Let me ask Dr. Fouk on this. 18 to 21, food is very important. Women. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me, just on a lighter note. Yes, yeah, so just, just, just also tell us something about what we should expect 18 yes, to 21. Um, uh, for, for those who will be privileged to be there physically, still observing COVID-19 protocol. Very important. We have, very important. Uh, we can say that as you come in, you have your breakfast, and we go into the session. We don't want distractions. So we allow you to listen, eat the food for the soul, <laughs> and then when you finish eating the food for the soul, you can just walk, still observing the protocols to get your lunch. Now, we have that uh, planned. Uh, every activity has been planned. Um, when you come in, even the conference package has all the uh, PPEs for okay. COVID-19. Wow. We, wow. we make sure that you have everything. So you don't just come and say you ignore anything. No, we are going strictly by the rule. And you cannot just come and ignore. You must obey. So you can't even get access if you don't obey, whatever it is. And every rule that has been given is what we've told all our members. We even form groups for those who will be 
come in. Good. These are the things you must do. Good. These are the things you cannot do. Good. So we have Good. those rules that have been set down. So yeah. food is not going to be a problem. I can bet it with you. When women are trying to do some things, they still make sure that um, the seasoning is not too much. Oh my Either goodness. is it too small. Oh my so goodness. <laughs> men are there to support. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I think it's a good way to leave it as the message has been passed. 23rd annual tax conference, uh, CITN, uh, 18 to 21. Well, uh, next year, we must be part of this. CBC must be part of, yes. of this. Please, we need to partner with you and work no, out something no so that we can also, you know, enjoy all, all of the goodies. We, uh, you know, <laughs> I, as a journalist, I can also learn something with yes, that. Sure. Yes, so I can yes, monitor sure. my fingers. Yes. Yes, you can even know that. whether you pay your tax well. Oh, that, yes. that's a good one that for me. You just look at it and on the top, you can say effectively. I'm calculating yourself. Mr. Simon Kato, it's been really interesting talking to you. I must say, a child about publicity, branding, and all of that for the co for the conference, right? Mm -hmm. yes, yes, thank you so Not much. Not just for the conference, but the institute itself. Well, you're a council member for the institute. Okay, for the institute itself. Oh, for CITN. Great, great. That's a very very good one. Yeah. And uh, Dr. Titi Fuoko, uh, everyone knows uh, Dr. Fuoko. She's always, she's, uh, she's on the news. Uh -huh. <laughs> For good, yeah. Chairman yeah. of the CITN 2021 Committee uh, and our Tax Conference Committee. Thank you so Thank much you for your time. And the council member too. Yes. Thank you so yeah, much for your time. You. I appreciate Thank this. Uh, have a safe trip. I uh, will see you when you're back. So that we'll yeah. analyze some of the outcomes of yeah. the communique yeah. and all that. We can yeah. also look at it and see uh, well, so that we can also pass this message to government. Yeah. Thank you very much and Thank enjoy you. your holiday. Thank, Thank you so you much. much. Thank you. Thank you.